Welcome back to Charlie Sheringham's Road to Glory, episode 3. Now, from the last episode, we haven't upgraded anything because we lost the last game. But in the last episode altogether, we upgraded the left back and the left back only, as we managed to only win the one game out of the three. And we come up against this first time round. It's absolute pace everywhere. You know when you've got a mix of bronze, silver and gold in the centre-back, midfield and strikers, they're going to be at pace everywhere. And when the guy kicks off and he does the what is commonly called the KSI kickoff, even though we've been doing it in pro clubs for years, years now either way um, you know you're up against some sort of opponent that's going to do whatever he can to win the game especially when he crosses it for about 75 times a half so I knew straight away I was up against somebody that would do whatever it took to win the game even if he didn't enjoy the game he was playing he would just rather win but thankfully inside half an hour Charlie Sherman should be bearing that and Powell eventually does from the rebound too much power for the goalkeeper to handle and we get ourselves in the lead and we can relax a little bit and by relax a little bit I mean just sit down and watch him cross the ball more and more despite Despite him having absolutely no luck crossing the ball, he just continued to cross and cross and cross. And this is just a joke. I knock it out. I'm getting that all day long until the referee's shoulder barges me. Obviously, again, he takes the ball out wide to cross it in 45th minute as well. So you're thinking, oh, great, here's the scripting. But I managed to clear it again here. Knocks the ball back in. Uh, eventually, after just flooring my left back, knocks the ball back in the box again. We managed to clear that. Again, across the goal with a header cross. Clear that again. And then eventually, he hits the ball and it goes out for a corner. So you can understand what I'm trying to say now is this guy likes to cross the ball. His only chance of the second half came from a corner as well. And it was getting quite frustrating. But after the 60 minute mark, we get Teddy Sheringham in. And I'm not sure what my other two strikers are doing. They actually ran backwards. So we've only got Jolly in the box. And we decide to cross this time. And Christian. And Jolly gets himself a header. The irony behind it was just absolutely epic because all this guy did was cross. And then moments later, we win the ball back again. Charlie, uh, Teddy showing, I'm sorry, to Charlie. Charlie back across over to Jolly as he makes the pace. So I have to cut inside, but it gets tackled. It's unfortunate. And we thought, well, why not whip the ball in back post? I don't score headers, but I have done here. What a header that is from Charlie Sharing. It's not often that I score headers. So for me to score two headers in one game, as well as what I think is a half decent header, especially for someone like me, because my heading ability is probably the worst on the game. So I was quite proud of that one. And Charlie Sheringham just continues to be scoring. I know he's going to be a liability later on in the game, but right now he's doing pretty much all I can ask him to do. And as we go 3-0 up, he completes the complete stereotype of having a shit team, complete pace, crossing all the time, and then rage quitting. So as you see that, I took out Christian Jolly. His first touch wasn't good enough for me. He plays himself as a striker, so in the camera it doesn't work. And we brought in Nick. Nick Powell, and we come up against this team, which I thought was a bit random. Ken Mafia. Um, I don't really know what to say. I don't know any of the players. So I was pretty optimistic going into this game. That's the best way to put it. And I said, as I said, I'm still doing single games. So I'm just coming up against anybody and everybody. Um, I will start doing like silver and gold things. or gold cup soon. Um, whenever I can. Whenever I get a half decent score. But at a minute, it's just no point because I'll get annihilated. But as you see, there we go. 1-0 down inside 22 minutes. Poor play for myself. Poor goal kick it was as well. Just to give him the ball back. But we got ourselves into the game soon enough here as we start dominating possession. Charlie, uh, Teddy gives it to Charlie. Charlie turns the player. Oh, I've mixed them up again. Charlie gave it to Teddy. Teddy turns the player and Teddy knocked it in the back of the net. And here we get one all and that is going to kill me all series getting them two mixed up. But, oh well, people are just going to have to get used to it because there's nothing I can do. I'm always going to get them mixed up. And just before the stroke of half time, nice ball in. Powell knocks it back across, and that's a great header there from Teddy Sheringham, I'm pretty sure. Yes, indeed, it was Teddy Sheringham. And we get into half time 2 1 up. Into the second half, it became a bit more sloppy. He got himself a decent chance on the edge of the box here. I actually tried to snap him because I thought he can't miss that. And I got away with it. And from that resulting corner, we got ourselves a nice little counter. Daniels here to Robinson. Robinson. Great ball over the top to Charlie Sheringham. Charlie Sheringham knocks it across to Powell, who pings it in the top corner, and the referee has called it back for a penalty. Now, obviously, I sweated that a little bit. Maybe I shouldn't, maybe I should. Who cares? If you leave the opportunity open to me, I will exploit you. That is my defense. If you don't like it, don't leave it open. But eventually, well, the goal, uh, sorry, the referee gave a penalty instead of the goal, and we give it to Charlie Sheringham, who steps up and completes his 100% penalty conversion rate for myself putting us to 3-1 and not sure after this guy just sort of fell apart get the ball from Weston back to Charlie Charlie across to Daniels who I'm not entirely sure why he's there and he gets obliterated I actually said at the beginning of this episode I've got um 
Daniel's in there because he doesn't attack as, attack as much as Ezekiel Fryer. So um, maybe I should revise that because I don't know what he was doing there. And this is the first penalty I believe I've gone left with with Charlie Sheringham. And I probably won't take another penalty to the left with him again because that was awful. Now into the last minute of this game, it's the game's over. It's already concluded. But we got ourselves a nice little passing play again here. Daniel's edge cutting back. Great ball into Teddy Sheringham. Gives it out to Weston. Weston again now just running down the wing, killing a bit of time, waiting for someone to get in the box even though I don't want to cross it and we don't. Nice ball back here to Nick Powell on his debut, should bury it first time, doesn't but gets the rebound and that's why he's in the squad in effect because he finds himself in the space and he gets himself the goal. As you see there we've just won 4-1. So we get another upgrade and we're taking out um, Robinson and we're bringing in Osborne and I'm just going to say right now Osborne is an animal as we go into this game here where he has Aruna Kone, Mark Noble, Dawson, I don't know who the right back is, John Ruddy, uh, Ezekiel Fryers, his left back himself. And then from there on, it's all a bit of a mess. He has a right midfielder and left midfielder. He has a striker and right midfielder. And he wasn't the greatest player I've ever played. Now, as I said, uh, Osborne's an absolute tank. You'll see him here in pretty much every single play, man. Every time I get onto the ball, his ball control was brilliant. His first touch was brilliant. And then within four minutes, we get the ball in there to Charlie Sheringham, who once again gets himself on the clean sheet. Now, a lot of, I know a lot of people were saying that I'm cutting that back in the box, but I'm not. If people are going to moan about headers and if people are going to moan about me playing on the floor, there isn't really much I can do. So that is that. So Aruna Kone then just absolutely killed me. That was some of the worst defending I've ever done in my life. That was absolutely atrocious. And I couldn't believe it. I, I generally sat there as he was attacking, thinking, what on earth is this guy doing? And for the rest of the game, he just hauls out Aruna Kone. Now, thankfully, though, it's not too long till Teddy sharing on chips to keep her to get us 2 1 up. And from there on out, it is just an absolute rout. Now, this is probably one of the best goals I've scored in the series so far. I know I said last time my Flanagan strike was really good, but this for just team play is brilliant. Osborne's just everywhere in this. Um, as you'll see there, he's already had it a couple of times. Plays uh, to Daniels. I'll spit my words out eventually. Nick Powell to Osborne again. Osborne into Powell. Powell into the other Powell. Back to the other Powell. So many Powells. And Osborne pings it in. <sighs> but... In terms of passing play, that was a pretty nice goal. And I've just realised I'm going to get both pals so mixed up as well as both sharing them. So one of them is going to have to go, I think. Um, they, they don't go in this uh, this game, but they're going to have to go soon enough because I can't be doing without too many pals. It's just confusing. We make it four before half time there with Teddy sharing them. Nice little step over there to get the angle against the goalkeeper, as he called him out. And we get the fifth just before half time. Weston just gets the corner short. Little LBY across the box and Charlie Sherman there with some weird sit down sort of header. But they all count in the end there. And there's the stats for that. A complete annihilation again. 90% shot um, shooting, 90% passing, 11 shots on target, 10 goals. Uh, 11 shots, 10 on target, 5 goals. I can't even read. And into the second half we'll go. And you'll just see that it pretty much just died off. This is the only goal of the second half here. Um, I mean, there just wasn't anything else after t uh, Charlie sharing them again, getting himself another goal. He's got a lot of goals now for me. He's got to be well into double figures for the series. And that is that. So we get ourselves one more upgrade. And we have upgraded Flanagan, I believe it is. Um, and we have bought in Tripoli um, from Burnley, I believe. Or whatever the guy's name is from Burnley. Uh, Tripler from Burnley. He's actually a really good player. I've had him before. So I'm quite optimistic about using him. So... Thanks for watching, if you like what you've seen, if you've got any suggestions, comments, whatever, whatever, don't be afraid to put them below, and as always, I'll see you next time.